In this video I'm going to show you how to use a wallpaper stripper. Out of the box you usually get the implements that we've got here. So you've got the steamer itself, you've got the lead to plug it in the wall, which is like a normal kettle lead. You get all the pipe which connects to this and then goes to the steam plate. And this is what you hold against the wallpaper to make it come off. It's all basic physics. You've got water boiling in there. As we all know when water boils it produces steam. It's got nowhere else to go because that's all sealed. So it comes up the hose and out through the steam plate. And that's where we get the steam that then in turn goes on the wall to remove the wallpaper. Some kits come with a smaller steam plate as well. And that's so you can get in all the nooks and crannies. First thing to do when using the steamer is fill this up with water. I'm going to fill it up with hot water just so it doesn't take as long to boil and create the steam. And there is a fill line on the side here. You mustn't fill it any further than that, otherwise you're going to have water coming out of the hose. Okay, as you can see, that is now filled with water. It's just below the fill line. So now what we need to do is connect the hose. It's the same both ends. And one end goes in there, like so. Hold it straight. And just do it up finger tight. Tight enough that it's not going to leak, but not too tight that you end up stripping the threads. They're only plastic. Then the other end goes into this, which is the steam plate. Just do that up, hold it straight, and when you feel a little bit of resistance, just nip it up. What you need to do is plug it in. On the back, there's like a clip to stop the water getting in there. Push that in there and make sure that's right in there, and then the clip's holding it in place. Yeah. I've started to boil. We've got a couple of scrapers handy. Got a little scraper there, quite an old one, I think. And then a couple of other scrapers. There we go, you can hear that now. And you can see the steam hopefully. And a little bit of water dribbling out. That's why I put it up higher than the steamer. Just to stop any water spilling out all over the place. So what you need to do is hold the steamer on the wall, against the wallpaper. Have the steamer in the hand that you're not going to use to scrape. So I'm right handed, so I'm using my right hand to scrape. Starting off is always a little bit more difficult because you've got to get an edge up. Right, there we go. There we go, look at that. Leave it in the one position for about 10 seconds or so. Doesn't need to be there that long. You'll get the feel for it. If you do it systematically, like this, then you're not going to miss any bits. And it does make it easier for clearing up as well. Here we go. That was pretty simple. On to the next now. You do it top to bottom, then the water will drip down the wall and it'll assist you as you go. There's an interesting date on the wall there. Friday the 13th of July 1984. Dun, dun, dun. I can always tear that off. Put that on the wall, on the floor. And then carry on. Like I said, careful where you go because you don't want to miss any little bits. Because it's easier just to get it all off now while you're doing it. Rather than going back over it, finding all the little pieces you've missed. Like that there. Make sure you don't get in the way of the steam, as you can see. That's coming out of the ferro winter knot. As you can see, I've done it systematically all the way across, and then you're left with a nice big pile of paper rather than bits everywhere. We'll start in the corner again. Move our way across. This wallpaper has been painted 
And this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Just might have to hold it on for a little bit longer. Just because of the paint. Don't think this is going to be as plain sailing. Yeah. Incidentally, while we're waiting for that, always open a window when you're doing this because it gets really hot. As you can imagine, you're creating your own little steam room. With this, it might be easier to give it a pop like that. And then, we'll go back over that and that will come off a lot easier. Making a bit more mess, but it's still coming off. So we got all the way around from there all the way to there and one fill of water. Incidentally, when that does start to run out of water, you'll know it'll go quiet, and as soon as it does, unplug it, because you don't want to burn out the heating element. Okay, you join me now, the next morning, as it was getting a bit late, and I don't think our neighbours appreciated us scraping the walls at 11 o'clock at night. Well, you've joined me now, I'm going around the light switch. I've unscrewed it, so I can get right around there. But you've got to be a bit careful, obviously water and electrics don't mix very well, but just be careful as you go. Just make sure no water, don't hold it above it like that too long because you're going to end up with water running into the socket. That's where the little one, the little attachment that you get will come in handy because you'll be able to just put it around there and get it in the nooks and crannies. Bits like that are going to be quite tricky, even if you like a smaller piece, but what I would advise is just hold it over there like that. Give it a pull. Get off all your pan. In fact, pieces like this aren't going to be stuck that well. As you can see, because it was stuck over the gloss by the look of it. So I use the same sort of principle around the window. Turn it in. Probably find it won't stick to the video anyway because the walls are cold. So, I come off quite easy. And there we are. Easy peasy. The only bit left to do is behind the radiator. So I'm going to drop the radiator down now so we can access behind it. Initially, what I was going to do was then do that there, and that there. Lift the radiator up and slide it down like that. Unfortunately, there's no movement in the pipes for us to be able to do that. So what we are going to have to do is take the radiator off the valves there and there. We've got full access now to that little section. We can get that stripped off. Although I don't think it's going to take a lot because it's up here. Quickly get those brackets off and get that stripped. It shouldn't take too long. So the room is now completely stripped of all wallpaper, so the job is finished, the job is a good one. Now all you need to do is give this a bit of a clean up, because the next time you come to use this, you don't want it all gunked up with old wallpaper from the last time you used it. Give it a swill under the hot tap with some soapy water perhaps, and uh, get rid of all that old wallpaper off there. Because a clean stripper is a happy stripper. So I'm told. If you liked the video, or you found it useful, or it's helped you out, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any comments or questions below. I will try and answer any questions. And don't forget to subscribe.